This is a problem about continuity. It is similar to a problem on your homework assignment. Find a real number a so that the function f of x, which is piecewise defined, it's x squared plus 2a for x less than 6, and it's x minus 4a when x is greater than or equal to 6. We want this function to be a continuous function. We've defined continuous. Here's the definition. A function is continuous at an interior point C of its domain if the following is true. The limit as x goes to C of f of x equals f of C. A continuous function also has a specific meaning. We say that a function is a continuous function if it is continuous at every point of its domain. So we'll need to use those definitions in, in our approach. In our solution, we should find a solution that agrees with those meanings of continuous and continuous function. So for any real number a, x squared plus 2a and x minus 4a are polynomials. Polynomials are continuous everywhere for all real values of x. We can take this as a rule, or we can work up to polynomials from the properties of continuous functions in your textbook. Therefore, we know that f of x is continuous on negative infinity to 6 and on 6 to, ne to a positive infinity. However, at x equals 6, this function does not act like a polynomial. At x equals 6, we want f of x to be continuous. We need to remember the definition for continuity. It seems that this does depend on the value of a. If f is continuous at x equals 6, then this equation will be true. The limit as x goes to 6 of f of x equals f of 6. The value of f of 6 can be found to be 6 minus 4a. Now the limit as x goes to 6 from the negative side of f of x equals the limit as x goes to 6 from the negative side of x squared plus 2a, which is 36 plus 2a. The limit as x goes to 6 from the positive side of f is 6 minus 4a. Again, use the definition of the function to find those one-sided limits. If the limit as x goes to 6 of f of x exists, then the one-sided limits must be equal. 36 plus 2a must equal 6 minus 4a. This only happens when a equals negative 5. So a equals negative 5, and f of x equals x squared minus 10 when x is less than 6, and x plus 20 when x is greater than or equal to 6.